Hi guys! So yesterday I went to the makeup date at Bloomingdale's at South Coast Plaza and it's a beauty event where different vendors will do a little demo of their new products and what's coming out for the spring. So I was really excited, got up really early. Doors open at 7.30 and the show is at 8.30. And all you have to do is just make a reservation with one of the makeup artists there ahead of time and purchase a $25 gift card, which you can use after the show. You also get a goodie bag. And the goodie bag that I got was this one right here. This little zebra print has Bloomingdale's with, sorry, <laughs> Bloomingdale's with like a little lip. And it comes with a bunch of samples and goodies. After they do the presentation, they told the girls and guys to get up calmly and walk over to your favorite counter. First one there, you get a free gift. So I calmly strutted <laughs> downstairs and I went to Bobbi Brown and I got this. It's uh, their bronzing powder, Tawny Brown. And I do have their light brown, so I don't know if this is going to work with my skin color, but I'm going to try to contour with it because it's like a nice ashy gray. So yeah, that was great. With the $25 gift card that I purchased, I got my favorite foundation. I haven't worn this in about a year, so they have changed the packaging since I purchased it. And that is the Giorgio Armani Lasting Silk Foundation. So I'm really excited to get back to using this. Really loved it. Sometimes you just like trying new foundations. And I just have to go back to this one. It's so good. So good. And I am shade 5.5 for reference. Also, the girl was so nice, and she gave me the free gift with purchase, even though you had to purchase $125. So that was really nice of her. She gave me the Fluid Sheer, number two. So I believe this is like an illuminator, which I can highlight. And also Intense Velvet Lip Color, number 400. So nice red. And also a Multi-Corrective Rejuvenating Cream. So inside the goodie bag was a bunch of samples. So I'll show you what I got inside the little sample bag. Clinique gave a eyelash curler, a little compact, a nice blush and mascara and two eyeshadows, a serum to help with dark spots so it brightens any dark spots, discoloration on your skin. This from Clarins looks like an eye cream. Shishado, I always mispronounce that, Shishado. Looks like this is a serum as well. Eye serum. This is from Strivectin and it's a neck cream. These were the three perfumes and colognes, which I'm not a fan of any of them. Giorgio Armani, three different lip colors. La Mer Gel Cream, Bobbi Brown, a little sample eye cream, which I really like this because I use Bobbi Brown and it would be great to travel with, so that's a great container. Estee Lauder, their Night Serum, another moisturizer from Estee Lauder, moisturizer for Clinique Men, have Ryan try that, see if he likes it. This is from Sicily. I believe it might be a foundation. Another serum from E. Saint Laurent. Kills. We have Clearly Corrective Dark Spot. Power Strength Line Reducing Concentrate from Kills. Precision Lifting and Pore Tightening Concentrate. So that was it from Bloomingdale's. And so it's really cool that they you know, give you a little sample bag of everything, of what's coming out, new products or favorite products of the brands. I know for Bobbi Brown that's a really good eye cream, so that's great. La Mer I've never tried, but it's really expensive and fancy, so that'll be exciting to try. Georgia Armani's lipsticks I've always wanted to try, so that's great. I get to sample them without splurging because they aren't cheap lipsticks. 
After the event, then I popped over to Sephora and I wanted to get NARS Madly, a blush. And of course they were sold out and they were going to order it for me online. Sold out online. So that kind of stinks. But I did get to purchase a new beauty blender. So I'm excited to have a fresh one and I'm going to try the beauty blender solid for cleaning my brushes and my beauty blender. I've heard great reviews and really excited to try it. I did try their liquid one before and it didn't clean. It did not clean. I still had residue, still build up. And I tend to clean my brushes once a week, especially my face brushes because you don't want that to build up too long because then bacteria can start building up. But yeah, that was my little little haul from Sephora and Bloomingdale's. I definitely recommend if you check your local Bloomingdale's for the makeup date to go because you get free goodies and you get to try and sample new products and I'm all about trying new things before I purchase them. Great way to test out new things. If you saw anything you liked here, I'm pretty sure each event they have the same products. They might change. I'm not sure. If you've gone to one, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to in know on what other cities they give for the samples and for any of the products. That'd be cool to know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're having a great week, and I can't wait to talk to you guys next time. Bye! Hi guys, I'm going to do a day to night look using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette.